my name is Candorous. I'm one of the Deadly Stream Form admins. I've been around in the community now for about 12 years, which is a very long time. Honestly, almost half my life at this point. I first played M478 way back when I first joined the community, before it was the Enhancement Project. And honestly, I don't remember what it was like that much. All I remember was it was very lacking in content. And I hadn't gone back and played the mod or even the game since then. So I'm coming at this mod pretty much with a fresh perspective in 2020. Overall, while I did really enjoy this mod, there were some aspects about it that just felt like a mod that just didn't feel like it belonged in the vanilla game. And I did notice some bugs too, which the vanilla game honestly had its fair share of, but have been mostly resolved through other mods at this point. So coming across these bugs was a bit jarring. I noticed occasionally birds would teleport from one place to another while walking on a path. And I managed to trigger the I-102 cutscene twice, even though I had already completed that part of the quest. And it was over an hour later into the gameplay. Honestly, some of the voice acting and dialogue splicing was a bit jarring as well, especially in the beginning part of the mod. After though, that opening sequence where you ran around with just playing as a droid, it got a whole lot better. And honestly, it stopped feeling like a mod for most of the rest of the game. Honestly, the only other thing I have to complain about was the very end when Lana got killed by the random assassin. It just felt a little bit out of place, and it felt like it almost undid the point of the mod in terms of giving her a satisfying conclusion. But overall, it was still way better than the vanilla game. And honestly, at this point, I don't think I'd ever want to play this game without this mod installed because this was just a much better way to treat that Jedi Master. 